Right, you see? If you come here, look how good it is. People living in, in, in low density, in high density areas where you do not have much space, this is an advantage. Because you can put your, you, you see here we've got three pallets of, of, of bags, right? You can put them on a very small space, no digging, no anything. And make sure there are no weeds. And our, our compost doesn't, doesn't allow weeds to grow in them. It's very rare, unless you put them in there yourself. This is a, a, a cluster bag of herbs and spinach and a lot of things. And this one again here, yeah, you can see there are herbs in, in, the, in this bag. Compost is just good for every plant. Uh, I think that there are problems with compost in you know, problem. Right. 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 Ground nuts shows 20 ma wheel baraye chicken reta inongo vaisina uswa iru muso to shan sama shija to shan sama green then it no zoro to veta canada kuro to veta tenga tishisanganis to shitanga kutena to isam vura on a half light tika then to the pizza kutena to vata isam vura inenge ach tato pizza pateni yo shigataita four tens. Can I tell you four tens? It's really serious. Cut it. complete. I've been four months. It's no bigger. Can I sing it a bigger? To chew air, fifty liters. It's no shan sari ma bucket. Two ma bucket and a half. Then that is fifty liters. Then to stitcher. Can I sing it a stitcher? To cut it some motor. To cut some motor. To cut it some deliveries. We want to demonstrate to you how you can grow vegetables in a bag of compost. So the first stage is you, spin, you, you, you turn the bag to the back. Right, you perforate the bag for good drainage. Right, you, you, you turn the bag like this. Right, you press it firmly and you cut it so that you create space for the vegetables. After finishing cutting it like this, you, you, you press it in like this, like what is doing there. You put it in so that it creates space for the vegetables here. And we, we can call this a cluster bag, a vegetable bag because we are going to put a variety of vegetables in there. So we, we can call it a Wukumombe cluster vegetable bag. And make sure every corner has got compost in. Then after that, you take uh, your, your can of water and make sure not to use a wash pipe because of the pressure it has got. It will help take out the, the compost and the nutrients out. So you use a can. Right, you water evenly, evenly like this, until you make sure it's well soaked. Right, then you mix, you mix your compost. Then you take your vegetables. And one thing you must put in mind is uh, when you, you do a bag like this, make sure it, it sits on a pallet so that when it water drips down, it doesn't affect the plants in the bag. And Another thing, do not overwater. 
because compost has got enough moisture on its own. And once you plant it, you press firmly so that the roots will, uh, will, will get on well with the, the, the environment they are going to settle in. Another thing, before I forget, another thing is this compost is even good with other things like lawn. Very good top dressing. If you put it on, on lawn, it's a very good top dressing. If you are, uh, your vegetables are doing well, you want to, to, to fumigate them, uh, do not use uh, insecticides that are chemically done. You must you use um, insecticides that you take from herbs in your garden. This is strictly organical. You don't have to use chemical things or artificial things. And you see your bag will give you the results. Hukumombe is just good.